Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Jeremy Stone, the Director of Marketing for Vokey Wedges at Titleist. We're at the PGA Demo Day today at Orlando, Florida. Jeremy, we've got brand new SM8 Vokey Wedges to discuss here today. I know there's been some uh, key innovations made, especially to the center of gravity. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, we're incredibly excited to launch SM8 today. Um, it continues the story of progressive center of gravity that really started with SM6 was improved in SM7 and makes a giant shift forward here with SM8, and I mean that quite literally. Um, the thing that people are going to notice right away is that the high weight pad that was here in SM6 and 7 is now gone. And the reason for that is we really found, coming from our tour players, that when you get weight up, but you do it up in this toe area, it creates some dynamic lofting. So the club kind of slides underneath the golf ball and can create some inconsistency. Sure. We saw a huge opportunity for improvement there. So what we've done is kept the CG up, but also pushed it forward. And the way you do that is you add a little bit of weight to the hosel, and you add a piece of tungsten here in the toe. It gets the weight up and forward. Golfers may not necessarily care where the CG is really, but what does it do, right? What does that mean for them? What it means is the club's just gonna square up more often. You're gonna get more consistent trajectory. You're gonna get better results overall. So your overall proximity to the hole, shot after shot, it's just gonna end up better. Absolutely, and of course the contact will be more consistent. It's gonna feel better as well. Now, I know the spin mill grooves have been obviously a staple SM for, you know, that's what it stands for. Um, can you explain that process, how the spin milling works, and really what goes into making the grooves uh, what, so detailed? Yeah, our engineering team takes a lot of pride in how they go about cutting their grooves. The spin milled process very often is simplified into that little torso saw that often appeared on the toe of the wedge, um, but it's really this entire process which is flattening the face to make sure that there are no hot spots, make sure it's perfectly flat. That's the starting point for cutting a good groove. And then you go through and individually cut each groove as well as the texture pattern that's in between each groove. And by doing that, you can achieve a level of precision that's really unmatched. And so from there, we then inspect every single groove on every single head, which provides us a wealth of data to continue to learn and innovate and get even more precise. And then the final piece of that puzzle is we apply a heat treatment and that doubles the durability of the groove. Because not only does the groove need to spin straight out of the box, but we need to make sure that that groove lasts. We wish golfers replaced their wedges more often, but the reality is if we can maintain that spin for a longer period of time, we're gonna give the golfer better value. And then better performance in the long run as well. Now, uh, speaking of performance, these are being adopted quite quickly by a number of your uh, staff members on, on tours. Um, how is that you know, adjustment going for them? I'm sure they love some of these new features and what do they like best about it? Yeah, the tour adoption has been exceptional and, and Vogue talks an awful lot about how when we make new wedges, the first step in that process is make sure the best players in the world who play for their livelihood trust the equipment. And we launched the wedges at the RSM Classic in Sea Island. It was the best adoption that Bob Vokey's ever seen. We had 102 SM8 wedges go and play the very first week. When you compare that to SM7, it was only 66. So an incredible adoption there. And there have been three full field events since SM8 became available to the tour players. All three winners of the RSM, the Sony, and most recently the American Express all played SM8, including brand ambassador Cam Smith who plays this jet black finish. So really when you talk about validating the performance of the product, it couldn't be going much better. And you mentioned the, the jet black finish here. Now there's three finishes to uh, the SM8 wedges, I believe. Can you run through those for us? Yeah, absolutely. So the Tour Chrome finish is our most popular. It is a traditional chrome finish. It looks an awful lot like the raw wedges you see on Tour, but it just won't rust because it does have that chrome plating. The brushed steel is a darker finish. It has a little bit of a texture pattern. It's for golfers that still like a metallic looking finish. Sure but they don't want the glare from the sunshine that a Tor Chrome can sometimes provide. And then if you want to go all the way into that non-glare area, the Jet Black Wedge. And the Jet Black Wedge is technically a raw finish. It goes through a finishing process called QPQ that creates this black finish to it. Everything's paint filled black. There's an awful lot of options here to make sure that you have space to customize if you choose to do that. Um, but fundamentally, this is about loving what you look at. Bob Vokey says all the time, you want to love what you look at. It's going to give you confidence. And so we make sure that these are purely aesthetic choices. The grooves are cut uniquely based on the finish to accommodate how each finish overlays the groove edge. 
Um, and you really, as a golfer, you get to choose the loft, the bounce, and the grind for performance, and then you get to choose the finish based on what you love to see. Absolutely. Well, these look fantastic. Obviously, Volkey Wedges have the reputation they do for a reason. They've been fantastic for a long time. Uh, Jeremy, thank you for joining us today to share a little bit about the SM8 Wedges. Sure to be a hit in 2020 and beyond. Oh, it's our pleasure. Thanks for having us.